Hi, I'm Otto Mitter, the Managing Director of Alibana, and thank you for joining me in this video. In this session, I'm going to be talking to you about our latest product that Alibana is offering, which is Eliplex Pro Fusion. Now, we're very excited about this offering, and what is it exactly? Well, it's a synergistic system that incorporates lash and brow lamination, lash and brow tinting and coloring, and our next gen regen system, which is packed full of amino acids, plant extracts, vitamins and minerals to keep lashes and brows super healthy while we're doing these kinds of chemical treatments on our clients. We all understand how important the art of healthy lash lift is. So we are very excited to tell you more about this product and how it works. What I thought I would do in this video is give you a little bit more insight into the differences between the Elibana system and the Eliplex system. I know there'll be a lot of Elibana users out there saying, why are we bringing out another system? And I love using the Elibana system. I don't feel like I need to change or do anything there. Well, we really like to be able to give our clients more offerings and of course there's always innovations with production now don't worry we are going to be keeping the elibana one shot system we would be crazy to not keep that because so many people love it and it's grown so much around the world in popularity but we decided we would bring out this other system because we wanted our clients to be able to do brow lamination if they like and we prefer using this system the eliplex system compared to our original system for brow lamination and there's some really good advantages with the Eliplex system for certain clients' hair textures. So I'll go into that a little bit for you now. The Eliplex Profusion system contains no thioglycolates. It has no thioglycolate compounds at all. It uses a cystamine hydrochloride active and a very pure form of this ingredient to help us give very good results that help to maintain the original integrity of the lash or the hair that we are working with. It's also been clinically tested for two years now on many different clients, hundreds of clients in fact, with our trainers and select distributors and of course at our Elibana HQ testing facility. We have been really putting this through its paces over the years and we're really, really happy with the results. Now it's also vegan friendly, so we're very happy about that. And it contains no sodium bromates as well, which is now banned in some countries. So we are really happy with this formulation. And I'm going to go into some of the uh, differences in processing times, as I know that will be a big question for many Elibata users out there. And uh, I'll dive into that now for you to give you a bit of insight. So if you're familiar with the Alibana system, you'll know it's quite a rapid processing product and that's why it's been so popular. Now, if we're working with fine lashes with the Alibana system, let's write that down here. Now we're talking about lashes here, mind you. I'll go into brow lamination later, but let's talk about lashes and the processing times when we're working on lashes. Fine lashes with the Alibana system it can be as little as three minutes for the first step and two minutes for the second step. So if any of you have seen my hair texture video, I go into a little bit about this there as well. Now, if we're using uh, the Elibana system on medium strength hair, the general recommended time is six minutes for step one and about five minutes for step two. Generally speaking, we find that works really well on many clients. You might bring that up to seven. You know, you can make some very slight adjustments and people that use the Alibana system do get used to that over time. But if we're working with very uh, dense hair, thick hair, strong hair, it's not always thick hair, but let's say it's strong hair. So strong, thick, dense lashes, I shouldn't say thick actually because I've worked on some clients before that had thin kind of looking lashes and they've been very dense and sometimes resistant. So strong or resistant lashes, sometimes you can leave the Elibana system eight, we even say up to 10 minutes, but generally eight and five 
is a good time for a stronger hair, but you can leave it up to 10 minutes. And it says that on the Yelly Barna packaging. Very rarely, you might have to increase the setting lotion more than five minutes as well, but it's very, very rare. We, I think I've done it a few times on a couple of clients. So you really shouldn't have to do it, but you can do it if you need to. If somebody's got very resistant hair, you can extend those times either way on the lifting lotion and a little bit on the setting lotion. Now, let's have a look at the Elliplex system. Now, if we're working with fine hair or fine lashes, I would recommend five for the first step and five for the second step. Now, I've worked with many really fine lashes and I find that that can give a really nice result. You can extend it either way here and there, but this is a general recommendation. Medium strength lashes, we are recommending eight for the first step and six for the second step. We're finding that works quite well with medium strength lashes. You can give or take either of the lotions by a minute or two. And with strong hair, we are recommending 10 to even 12 minutes for that first step and then up to eight minutes for the setting lotion. So you can leave it for a considerable amount of time compared to the Elibana system. I'm going to use the word forgiving. It is more forgiving and allows you more time to be able to finish that result with the client. And it's definitely more forgiving with finer hair texture. So it's a great system, I think, for some clients out there. They want a vegan system. They do prefer a slower system um, and it does maintain the original integrity of the hair better with this formulation. So we don't really see the unruly grow out. Very minimal chance of overprocessing. In my opinion, with any permanent wave lotion, it could cause damage if it's not used correctly. But you certainly do have a more forgiving, foolproof product uh, when you're using this system. So that's very exciting to be able to offer. Now, when we're doing brow lamination with the Elliplex Profusion system, we do change the timings a little bit. If anything, we're bringing the timing back or reducing the timing more. Now, when we think about using permanent wave lotions on clients on the brow area, it is going to touch the skin. It's very difficult to avoid this 100%. Now, there's some precautions we can take when we're doing the application, which we'll go into with our training videos. But today, I wanted to talk to you more about the actual processing times that are recommended when we're working on clients' brows. So with very fine hair, I recommend four minutes for step one and four minutes for step two. So it's really quite quick. And then with medium, Strength hairs, six and six, okay? So six minutes for step one, six minutes for the step two. And with very strong, uh, resistant brow hairs, we would recommend around eight and six. Generally though, I don't recommend leaving these lotions on the brows for much longer than this. Now it can be done, but there are things that you need to consider because you do have to use an alkalizing agent in permanent wave lotions to help break down the cuticle scales to let the perming wave agent do its job. Now, alkalizing agents, um, even though our product has a lower pH uh, that is more suited to skin, if you leave alkalizing agents on the skin for too long, it can be irritating on some people. So you do have to use these products with caution to ensure that you're not going to irritate your client's skin. So I don't really recommend using it for much longer than that for brow lamination. And we've done some very strong brows before and we're seeing incredible results with those times. Let's talk a little bit about the next gen regen and how that works with our Elliplex Profusion system. Now, the great thing about Elliplex Regen is 
it can be combined with the setting lotion. Now we've done a new formulation. It's not the same type of viscosity or gel serum that the original Regen was. The new Regen is now a cream emulsion that has been designed to mix beautifully with the setting lotion. Now, this really helps to speed up the process when you're performing this treatment. And that makes, uh, you know, the whole treatment quite viable when you think about it, because with the Ellie Barter one-shot system, we did Regen as a separate step, which adds time. But now you can add the Regen in with the setting lotion and it gives beautiful results. Now, you do have to make sure you mix the product correctly if you're going to do this technique. Now, Regen can be used on its own if you want. So this is an optional extra if you want. The Ellie Plex Pro Fusion Lash and Brow Lamination System can work without Regen. If for some reason you don't have it, so you know, you've gone through it all and you couldn't buy some because it comes as a separate component, don't worry, you can still do a lash and brow lamination service without using it, but you do get some wonderful benefits if you do incorporate it in the treatment. Now, if you're going to mix it in, the recommended ratios are eight parts setting lotion to one part regen. Now, what we mean by this is you're going to have eight parts of the setting lotion, so a bigger amount. I'm just making this very clear for everyone. And then just a very small amount, also one part of Regen. So you don't want to over mix that Regen into the formula. There's no need to do that. You don't want to dilute the uh, performance of the setting lotion at all. You want to make sure you get that right. But it is an amazing express option that you can add into this service if you need to. Now, the other thing that's really good about the Next Gen Regen is you can also mix it with your tinting component. Now, if you're tinting the lashes at the end of a lash lamination uh, treatment, I would recommend just mixing the Regen Next Gen in with the tint for that uh, extra boost to give your lashes a lot more volume and nourishment and the minerals that they're going to love. And you can use this very simply by mixing it with four parts tint to four parts oxidant to one part regen. So again, think about it as eight parts of product here and one small part of regen. If I look at it in the mixing dish, it's literally just one small drop of regen, like a match head worth in size. So just a very small amount, which is all you really need to give amazing results when you're mixing it in with the tinting or the setting lotion steps. Thank you for joining me in this session. It's been great to do a little video here that I'm sure will be very helpful for some of you out there that are looking at trying out this system and want to know the difference between Ellie Barna One Shot System and the Ellie Plex Pro Fusion System. Of course, all the instructions are with the kits, the boxes, the products that you're going to be using. And of course, our official training is always the best way to learn how the products work and get the most out of your products and ensure you're getting the optimal results on your clients. So we'll have links here for the frequently asked questions uh, as well. If you want to check those out, you can on our website or under the YouTube link. And uh, of course, if you have any questions at all, you can contact Ellie Barner HQ and we'd be more than happy to help. You.